creator. You're, you're the creator of the Brave Compendium, right? That is correct. All right, and would you rather go by Shiranui or David? I have an identity crisis, so either or works. Fair enough. Uh, just for simplicity's sake, how about David for this video? Sure, why not? All right, and technically the video is still going, so uh, mind if I ask what you do, out, like outside of the Brave Compendium, if you want to talk about that. Um. Well, I, I play Brave just like everyone else. Maybe not as seriously as people think I do, but um, besides that, um, I'm just you know a regular guy. I I work. I, uh, I go to a gym. I, I uh, do boxing and as part of my basic outside of my gaming life i still play regular games too like i'm actually hoping to start near automata within like the next couple of days but yeah i'm just like a regular person that decided hey let me make something like a website to help people learn about the game because why not fair enough and that actually covers the next question i have about what exactly is the brave compendium the Break Compendium is a website dedicated to delivering comprehensive and personable information about Brave Frontier to all players of all levels. It was supposed to be the evolved form of the beginner's guide, which I wrote, I think, sometime last year, or I think a couple months ago, actually. And it just didn't really serve like uh, the purpose I felt like something like that the community was looking for because not only we had beginners, we had a lot of returning players and I wanted something bigger. And that's basically where the compendium was started. It was actually supposed to be the evolved form of the beginner's guide, but end up becoming just a website having comprehensive information about the game in general for everyone. All right. So what's funny is that you and I actually had a similar idea. Uh, I'm not sure if you've checked out the content that I do on this channel. Um, a lot, as of late, it's been a lot of unit overview videos, but I also started out working on guides for beginning and returning players. Mm -hmm. um, so that's it's really cool to find someone else who has had a similar idea as me. Honestly, there has been many, and there's been a long time coming that we had an influx of returning players and new players, and you know, I had my fun just you know, joke, uh, teasing them and like being a little bit uh, toxic, so to say, you know, just like doing my little jabs here and there. But then one day I decided to look at the beginners guys available at the time. And I was just like, oh, wow, this is really old. So actually, I could not let that slide because I just felt like, you know what? If people don't know where, what to do because of outdated information, I can't really fault them. So I figured, okay, if no one else is going to do it, I might as well do it with my, with my own hands. And that's, yeah, that's where everything started. Yeah, and that actually does answer the next question of who came up with, with, a, with this idea and why. Um, it was actually, I came up with this idea initially with the uh, beginner's guide. And the beginner's guide was started around the time when I, someone just asked, like, I think they were new or something to the game and they wanted to know how to start. And I linked them to beginner's guy using the linbot command. And just for curiosity, I decided to just click one, the latest one at the time. I forgot which one it was. And to see what information it had. And lo and behold, it was very, um, um, outdated. Down. Not, well, outdated is not like the, outdated is kind of harsh because it's not really outdated. It was just very like bare bones and stripped down. And I just felt like, you know, it, this game is actually a lot more deeper than it actually looks. So I think it's like, you know that what? That is true. We need more information. Yeah. I, it might also be a little bit outdated. Uh, I'm not sure what all is on this beginner guide. I've not seen it myself, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, so it depends on what is in there. But I'll take your word on it. That's more stripped down than it is outdated. So. Yeah, like, uh, I believe when I first pitched my beginner's guide to Lena, and then soon Aleph found it, and then Navi found it, uh, they were like, oh, wow, this is so detailed. And next thing you know, it was on the Linbot. And then I think I had a lot of people viewing that document. And then from that, I just started thinking, okay, I need something more. And yeah, that's, yeah, it's basically 
it all started with the beginner's guide so it all started from there and just kept growing from there since then all right um and so what all can people expect to see on the brief compendium like what is on there currently just really briefly like what can people see by going on there a lot of updated information from the beginner's guide a lot of the information got updated um not everything got changed too like there was a lot of things in the beginner's guide that i did like copy and paste onto the compendium just like rearranged it to make it look a lot nicer and a lot more um easy on the eyes but there are also new sections like the coliseum section was greatly expanded from the beginner's guide uh the frontier hunter was greatly expanded and there was just a lot of things that I had to expand because this is a website web page. So I figured there needs to be a little bit more um, content to it when needed. Another thing that you can find on the website in the future is that um, you could get like content guides, uh, video guides actually for a lot of the content that's in the game. Right now at launch, there's not uh, not a lot of them are available. I do apologize. It's just that. Uh, if I were to try to put everything on the site, like as it should, um, the site would have been delayed, like I think another like three to four months. And to be honest, considering it's the anniversary and we're going to have like a lot of new players joining in, I figure, okay, I need to take the initiative and just release the site and just update as I go. All right. And yeah, if you go on the site right now, there, there are some pages that say that there's content coming for this page soon. Yes. Um, and one of those, one of those pages I'm actually very curious about the, uh, what is it? The unit guide? Oh, yes. The unit catalog. Uh, the unit catalog is my next big project. Um, uh, it actually is going to be a place where you're going to find unit analysis, reviews, and also it's going to house my new YouTube series. Is this unit good as kind of like the Kickstarter and then below it, it will be like a more detailed, more like serious anal an analysis of the unit so that's what the unit catalog is going to be in the future as of right now um i don't have anything majorly planned right now for it because i'm still trying to get the website up and going and of course trying to get my actual series going on youtube that series being the is this unit good series yes all right uh and that actually does tie into the next question i have for you what plans do you have for the brave compendium a lot of plans. <laughs> uh, first is the unit catalog project. The second biggest project I have is what I like to call the Grand Quest Visual Novel Project, which is basically something more long term, more down the line. It's basically uh, another version of the clear videos for the Grand Quest, but I am going to be featuring voice acting for all the cutscenes in the Grand Quest. As of right now, it's still like. Uh, work in progress because I am trying to just get the main site going but that's another project I have going and of course another thing down the line is more integration with my website and YouTube all right and is there anything that's not currently on the brief compendium that you might have ideas of but you want to workshop it a bit more I think for right now uh, I want to do uh, content specific squad building um, I believe each section should have its own like squad building section, like explaining what you should bring and what you should um, consider when you're summoning for units or finding units. I think that will help a lot of players figure out what to do rather than trying to guess from like the basic begin the basic squad building guide, which is available on the site in the introduction section. But that is an also another work in progress for the future is uh, specific content squad building guides. But that will come, like, in the future after you've completed the website a little bit more than what it currently is. Yeah, uh, that's a kind of, I think that will, yeah, that's more something like a work in progress. Um, there's still a lot more things I need to do for the website. Like, I'm working with my graphics designer to get all the graphics up and going. Um, and then I need to change the text to make it a little bit more um, compatible with the new uh, graphics on the site. There's just still a lot of, I think site maintenance i have to do at this moment in time that new content might be a little bit slow but i am trying to balance it all and to make sure i deliver new content while still updating the website um, visually and making sure it's working as intended all right and so far it seems to be it seems to be working uh fairly fine from what i've noticed 
Uh, I didn't notice that there are some feedback that you've already gotten on the website that you've already yes. incorporated or at least have started working on. Yeah. Uh, which does bring up the next question. Um, kind of, sort of. What part of the Grave Compendium excites you the most? I think at the moment, it's the player's voice. Um, this is a section where um, I want to have the community, the community submit their own, like, editorial articles they want to write to talk about the game in their own way like right now i just got a submission for the lore about uh, the lore of brave frontier um and i'm currently um editing the document to fit on the website but yeah that's something i do want to see more activity for i'm actually personally more excited for that section is that i want to see what the community has to say and i want to help showcase that in a lot more of like a I want to say more professional fo professional format. And how can the community exactly voice their ideas? They can write an article. Um, the best way to do it is to join my Discord server, the Agalia Federation, which is the headquarters of the Compendium and a lot of its activities. There's a section called uh, Player's Voice where you can message an idea that you that you want to write about. And if I have interest in it, or if you have uh, something made up for it, you could DM me directly on Discord. And then we could talk further on what article you want to write. And also you can start drafting it and then I can start reviewing it. And of course, um, once it's all reviewed and done, it gets posted on the website. And basically, it then is open for everyone to read. Uh, I think that covers everything that my community was, was curious about, that I was curious about and that the two folds did not cover. Uh, so there's only one question I have left. Is there anything else you would like to mention? Um, I just want to say that the compendium is, I want to remind everyone that it is a evolving medium. Um, it's hard to always like figure out what is needed on the site. That's why I love receiving feedback. And also, um, I want to, and that's the thing I want to really um, stress is that it's an evolving and adaptable medium. It's not something that stays static. It's something that changes with the game. And I think that's something I want everyone to remember that and why they should always refer back to it because it's always getting updated, always getting updated with the latest information if something were to change. So like, for example, if the companion was made, let's say, a month ago, and then we have these sudden change with that overdrive gauge shenanigans that would get updated the day of and the day after. Basically. Yeah. Um, is there anyone you would like to shout out before we end off here? First of all, I want to give a shout out to my, uh, my graphic designer, Rocket Man. He has designed a lot of the stuff for the Great Compendium already, including the new background and the logo. Shout outs to Two Fools for supporting me for the project, featuring me twice on the podcast to just express what I'm doing. Um, and uh, shout outs to my server team. Um, they're amazing. I love them. Shout out to Lena for basically supporting me and advising me throughout a lot of the early days of the compendium. And I don't know, the list can go on and on, but... Th th the people that have helped me along the way, those people I want to give a shout out to because this was definitely a team effort and it wasn't anything that could have came up just by itself but without input from other people. All right. And if that's everyone you would like to shout out, I think that brings us to the end of this interview. I thank you so much for having me. Um, it was great to talk about the compendium, and I hope it's something that uh, you would continue using, and of course, everyone continues using. Oh yeah, and thank you for coming on the show. No problem, thank you. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye!